Vika. Hello. 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 Uh, I'd like to know when's the first time you heard that thing. I don't remember exactly. It was quite many years ago. That's my kind of answer. I have uh, bad memory. I'm getting old. I but mean, I, I did a cover of uh, this intro. That's right. It had to have at least been from 2000. Six? When did Killing Season come out? 2008. Eight. So you covered a, you covered could Dethroned be, from Killing Season, yeah, which was in 2008. Nine, could be 2009, 10 or something, and you wrote so, Okay, so ten, 10 years ago. At least. Because she did the most amazing uh, piano version of our song Dethroned, and I just, I don't even remember, somebody probably sent me the link and said, have you ever seen this? And I watched it and I, my mind was blown. I was driven to tears and contacted Vika and just was expressing my gratitude for you doing this amazing piece of music. And there you go. And then, so then we knew each other from email. Then fast forward to 70,000 tons of metal. 2014. 2014. And we're like getting pizza in the late night pizza moment at fucking three in the morning or some shit. And it's like, is this, wait a minute, hello? And she turns around and then we met right there getting a slice of pizza in the middle of the night. Well, I guess I was begging, begging Rob to do something together since, ever since we met. You were? I actually had said that you will eventually be playing piano on one of our records. And I, was, I think. I was politely reminding it to you every fucking time. This is true. So there you go. It's a mu mutual chemistry of music making. Yeah. But and oddly enough, we didn't even do it on the next album, which was The Evil Divide. For some reason, it just didn't happen. And so on with Manicide. Yeah. It did happen. So, writing the songs for this album, I had that in mind, to have Vika play the piano on this record, but I just didn't have any idea where it would go, and I just figured to let the natural writing happen, and hopefully there would be the right part that would be in there. Like, I didn't want to like try to pre-construct the whole situation, like, it just had to like happen, or it wouldn't happen, but I had a feeling it would. And so, writing all the songs, Immortal Be Hated just ended up having that really to me it's like totally dark and like it's obviously less thrash of a song it's not all too fast and stuff so there's a lot of space and it has that just that feel where it presented itself it took some time i all i had was uh, a guitar accompaniment a sequence uh, I could make longer or short, I just could do anything I want with it. And then Rob also sent me this, da -da 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 -da, this small guitar lick that I could start with to give me inspiration. But I was not sure which direction to go, uh, so Rob also suggested to check out uh, Face No More song. And there was this piano outro, because I never did something like that. So, and I felt like really like a res big responsibility. I didn't want to fuck it up because I was like dreaming about playing something for this angel for a long time. So it was important to do a good job. So it, I had a few different ideas and sent him to Rob all the time. He was giving me feedback and at some point, just my mind was working all the time about that. I was always like any time of the day running to the piano, trying to record something. Not happy with it, frustrated, recording again. And eventually I came with something that dropped back. And then I added, all, added it also the bass line to it. And it was very tricky. I always wanted to add the bass line. But with this guitar company, it just never fit. Nothing fits. But eventually uh -huh. I ended up finding the bass line that fits. I was happy about that. And then it's just like, it just worked. And then we just needed to like make a few more takes that it was like a perfect take. 
perfect quality, perfect synchronization with the guitar. Perfect synchronization. That's not perfect. No, it's not. You know, I will say that, first of all, Vika did do so many versions and she worked really hard on it because you sent me a lot of different versions. I was very impressed. Like, my God, she's just doing it over and over and like one different thing here and one different thing there. And I really appreciated all the work that you were obviously putting into it. Um, but you know, one thing I totally remember is that when you sent me the first version, the original first version you sent is nothing like how it is. It was like a whole nother world of a thing, which was an amazing and incredible crazy thing, but it was totally different. And I was like, whoa! Like, and when I got back to you, I was like, that's fucking crazy, but... It doesn't fit. Yeah, I was like, that's not, like, can you kind of go, like... And then, like, I explained to you, then, like, I hope that it, you know, it wouldn't have, like, thrown you off too bad. And then you just, like, went okay. And then very next version you sent me, the first other version was really close to the version that it is. All the adjustments that you made a hundred times since then were very tiny. It went from like something completely over here that is nothing like what you hear to the, it was like almost exactly it, but we just detailed it out over the weeks of time. But yeah, I just needed to know which character it was. The, yes, the adjustment went from here to here and it was amazing. So that was happening. That was great. For me, for sure. I mean, I would always, I mean, I always wanted to do something like that. Collaborate with, uh, with other musicians. That's perfect. I just hope that we can do it more often. Absolutely. I hope as well. So perhaps it should happen because uh, that is actually the first time I got to collaborate with piano after all these years. So you know, and I've always wanted to. Of course, piano is amazing stringed instrument, stringed and percussive at the same time. It's the ultimate. I wish I could play.